Yes, I did work in Dubai and uh, in Abu Dhabi and for those who know me knows that uh, Dubai is my favorite city, United Arab Emirates is my favorite country to live, is where I want to live again and today I want to share with you a little bit of my experience because guess what, most of the questions uh, coaches and aspiring tennis coaches asking me is how you did it, uh, what did you do, how is to live in Dubai, what was your experience, do you recommend this to me or not, I really want to go, what can I do, uh, this is the most typical questions at least people asking me are asking me and uh, that's why I decided to do this video to help you decide to help you to understand what is to live in Dubai what is for us that we are European or I don't know if you are European but if you are European what is the change from Europe to the United Arab Emirates and uh, if I like it and of course <laughs> I like it of course is where I want to live again currently I'm here in Vilnius but uh, Dubai is, is a dream is actually is really a dream and it's not how people say, like, I can start with one common question that is usually when girls ask, or tennis coaches, a, a woman, ask what is to, to be in Dubai, what is the difference, the, the culture, uh, and it's not how people think. In Dubai is uh, normal, you know, it's just uh, you, you can do whatever you want, just you need to respect the culture, you need to understand you are in a different culture, so of course you're not going to go to the shopping with a really short skin, uh, skirt, sorry. Uh, you really need to, to cover, but uh, when you go to the beach, you are normal, when any other things, it, everything is normal, it's just a normal life, and Dubai is an international city, you have a lot of European people, and I did work in Abu Dhabi as well, and Abu Dhabi yes, is different, you have more, more locals, you have more Arabic people, but uh, for another side, it's more beautiful in my opinion, is uh, you can feel the culture is like it's really really nice and the smell <laughs> I even like the smell of the Arabic perfume I like the songs I like the I like the vibe and I and one of the, the most interesting things is I like that uh, when we meet people everyone is from different countries you can have a dinner with five or six people and everyone is from a different country everyone has different experience more stories to tell and everyone there is more ambitious uh, it's like people that want more in life, that's why also they move there and most important that is that everyone helps each other because everyone is there alone or probably with the wife, depend. Uh, you need to marry to be there as a couple but um, you, it's, it's different, uh, the pe people really help and uh, when I moved first time in Abu, Dhabi, in Abu Dhabi, it was a long time ago, it was in 2015 um, I didn't even know how to communicate in English, I didn't know how to speak in English and when I arrived to the airport, first time they, they asked me, I still remember, was to spell my name. Oh my god, I took like ages to just to spell my name, I didn't know how to, to say F-I-L-I-P-E, this took me ages and uh, well, I, I guess was uh, really good for me to learn to, to grow as a, as a person and help me a lot. And uh, about the English, I wouldn't learn English in any other country in the world because I didn't have the same help from other people. I and basically, going back to our topic is uh, if I recommend to move to Dubai, the first question is uh, why do you want to move to Dubai? Is it uh, just because of the money, you like to travel, you want to have a new experience? What is the real question? What is the real why you want to do it? And if it's just because of the money, you need to understand uh, also how, for how long you want to live there. So if you want to live there in a short term, like one year or I don't know, two years max, or maybe less than one year, six months or whatever you want. And if it's for the money, maybe it's good because you go, you work, you go home and you save some money. If you want to go there to live there, to make your life there and to live longer, maybe three, five or even more years, which uh, could be really interesting. Uh, I don't think you save a lot because you start to spend, you start hang go hanging out with more people, they go there and you have the money and they say, okay, let's go, let's, uh, let's gather together tonight. And even if you say, no, 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 I will save money, they say, okay, I will pay, doesn't matter. And you feel bad because you also, you have the money, you can pay. So you start to go out, you start to spend some money and uh, it's a cycle, as you know. And you're gonna spend more than more no, but you're gonna spend all you all you have. So if the first question is the money, I would say no, it's not uh, worth it if it's for long term, if it's for short term, could be worth it as a tennis coach. Um, one of the most uh, advantages for me and what I like the most there is safety. Uh, it's like super safe, you can leave your PC, uh, your PC or your phone in the table, go toilet, go here, go whatever you want and no one touches and this is um, we don't understand because in Portugal or in other countries 
uh, I mean, we understand when we are in Portugal and in, we are in a bar, for example, or in the cafe, we want to go to the toilet, I can't leave my PC. Or I'm here in Vilnius, I will not leave my PC, I need to put everything in the backpack, go to the toilet or go wherever I want, come back, do it again, set up my my desk on my table is really annoying this and that no you can just go <laughs> and no one is gonna do anything and this i think there is no money in the world that can pay safety there is no money at all and for me this is one of the the best parts of dubai is really how safe you are there and you don't understand or you don't realize until the moment you are there and this is the one of the biggest advantages for me Second is how the amount of people, like a lot of people that you meet from all around the world, the friendships you, you do and they are real because you can connect easily with people there. Uh, you can learn new languages if you want, you can improve your English, it's really easy to learn English there. And plus it's a different culture so you can do a lot of things there, Dubai has a lot of things to, to visit. Uh, so if you like to travel and uh, if you go, if you your goal is to visit new new things and to travel around, it's a perfect place to to be because uh, you are more far from Europe, of course. You are at, at the same time you are halfway to go uh, Thailand and Asia. So it's also nice to to visit that part of of the world and cheaper and easier. Uh, plus all around Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Oman, like all the countries around and the cities around. It's worth visiting, visiting is different and uh, I truly recommend was what I did every week I was doing something and Dubai, especially Dubai, every every time they have new things to do, new things to visit, new places to eat, new places to... I, they have everything, so it's... If this is one of the things you want in your life, if you want this change, it's a perfect place. To go as a tennis coach, um, if you work for one academy, usually you receive by hour, you get a commission and it is amazing because uh, as much you work, more you get and uh, I had this experience and in Abu Dhabi and in Dubai I had the fixed amount uh, and the problem with the fixed amount is like that first is good because you already know you're gonna get that and second is bad because um, you don't have motivation okay, it doesn't matter if I work 2 hours or if I work 10 hours it's gonna be the same, so for what I wanna work more, right? Uh, what's the point? So I don't think this is the best for you. If you are a kind of person like me that you like to reach some some goals and you like to have uh, all these new things to accomplish, uh, going with the defined amount is not good. <laughs> I didn't like. I felt like uh, okay, and what now? What can I do? Uh, and nothing. So okay, that's that is the part that uh, I would recommend to go through the commission and is much better. And uh, another thing is if you go to Dubai as a tennis coach and if I would go now again and I want to go and I will go uh, is uh, if you go as a content creator, uh, if you go as a tennis coach with knowledge already and uh, with a lot of experience, what I really recommend, if you like of course, only if you like, it's a perfect place to start your uh, YouTube channel, it's a perfect place to start uh, your uh, social media um, network if you can share a lot of videos you can play different uh, courts in different places all with palms around and beautiful things and if you go with the goal to make more money online uh, there is the perfect place and is the the place where people search a lot because there are a lot of people searching online what can i do in dubai how can i play in dubai how can i work in dubai 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 a lot of people has the curiosity to know what's happening there <laughs> and uh, it's normal so you can take advantage of that and you can use that for you you can try to show people around you can try to play do vlogs about your day what you do as a tennis coach um, what is your life and this is amazing well, about living there, what can I say is like usually rent is for free, they pay rent for coaches, so if your contract or if you go without rent, maybe think twice because things there are more expensive. I don't know, actually are not expensive because the rent is even cheaper than uh, in Portugal. I was paying more in Portugal than what they were paying to me in, in Dubai. Plus in Dubai have better conditions, always with the pool, uh, gyms and Starbucks and all the shops around, uh, everything, restaurants. It's like really nice, but uh, what happened is when you move there, if you don't know, at least two years ago, uh, most of the places you need to pay one year in advance. In Portugal we pay two months, uh, you pay one month in advance and then the, the normal month, uh, you, like, you have a security deposit, but there you need to pay one month. And now sometimes they do like in three or four times, but still is a lot of money if you're not ready for that, because you want to change, you want to spend some more money in the beginning. Uh, and this is one of the parts uh, 
I need to say and you need to consider before you go because it can be a challenge for you. Um, another thing is about uh, the life there, the supermarkets, the food, the restaurants, I would say is much more cheaper. Uh, I have my app where I make note uh, of everything I spend. Uh, I gave up of that 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 um, this month or last month uh, is another topic. Uh, um, doesn't matter here, but uh, what I was making note of everything, every every single uh, meal, everything, uh, even if it's just for the coffee. And uh, what I noticed if there is there, I spend way less. Also because I eat a lot of bread, and uh, their bread is super cheap, plus good Arabic bread. I like it, and they have a lot of offers, like in the supermarkets, uh, even for food for takeaway. So in food, you will spend less probably because I spend. A lot. I spend more than four or five people <laughs> in one family just alone and food is one of the biggest expenses for me because uh, I really like to eat as I'm Portuguese. Uh, you should know. Okay, but about food, you will spend less probably, most probably. And um, what can I say for you about uh, how you how you how you move there around uh, i rented a car uh, and i think renting a car renting a car is uh, the best option usually prices is around uh, 300 to 500 euros a month to rent a car petrol is uh, not free but uh, is almost uh, you can drive 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 and never hands uh, so this is one expense that probably you will spend less because if you are in europe you need to pay a lot of things for the car or if you want to consider, you can consider to use a bus, but uh, remember, it's too hot and uh, if you live uh, close by, it's okay. Or uh, in some, from October to October, November to March, it's more or less okay, but after that it's super hot and uh, you don't want to ride. Uh, you don't, don't want to go in the bus, that's for sure. Plus, in the bus, remember, men are in the back and women are in the front seat. <laughs> uh, interesting story, I was there in Dubai and one of the first times I didn't even know how to talk, so I just entered the bus. I used the bus in that month and I want to tell you why, but I entered the bus and uh, I was in front and everyone was shouting at me and I didn't understand. I just, well, I'm going to stay here because they were locals, was in Abu Dhabi. And then a lot of women going forward, uh, back, uh, to the front, to the front, to the front. And I, ah, what's happening here? And okay, I saw in the windows. I need to go back. And uh, why I used the bus the first month? Because I was, I went there first time. I had like I was 19, 20 years old, I think, or 21 max, but I think 20 years old. Uh, and uh, of course, I was using my money, my savings, and uh, was everything different. <laughs> So I decided, okay, I'm not gonna spend in the first month my money in taxi and uh, despite taxi is really cheap there, but I didn't wanna, as a young kid, I didn't wanna spend money uh, in, the, in the taxi and fair enough, okay, but after one month I gave up the idea and I started to use the taxi and talking about the taxi, uh, of course it's much better, it, don't try even the bus, go by taxi because you will receive in the end of the month and then you get used to the, to the, to the prices there. But one advice is to, when you get in in the taxi, you need to show to your taxi drivers that you are uh, not local, but that, that you are living there, that you are not a tourist. And most important, that you need to show where you want to go. You need to be exactly where like, you want to go there and you want to be sure that place uh, or ask, oh, uh, I want to go to Dubai Mall is like like uh, 15, it's about 15 minutes, right? It means that you already know because you don't show, if you don't show this, they go around, they go twice more and they will charge you more and uh, you cannot do anything. So. This is another advice for me, um, uh, for you, <laughs> not for me. And uh, this is, you need to consider what you want, but I would consider the, the taxi. Uh, another important thing is when you move to, um, to Dubai, the doors that opens for you, because uh, if you add on your CV, as you probably know, and you know me, I don't get a lot of CVs because what I want is, uh, what I like is to know the experience of the persons and what they did, and what is the, their expertise. More important than even the studies is what they, in tennis in this case, is what they did as a tennis coach and uh, what they did as a player because they need to play good to coach, to be a good coach, in my opinion. And uh, as a tennis coach, they need to have a good experience uh, by learning with another coaches. And for me, for example, I like this question that is, for example, I am coaching for 11 years. And uh, there is one question that is really interesting. It's like, you have 11 years of experience or you have one year of experience. Um, wait, wait, you have one year 
uh, how it is? You have 11 years. You, do you have 11 years of experience or you have one year of experience repeated 11 times? <laughs> and this is a really interesting question. And in, in, start, in the start of my career, I can say that I have for seven, eight years of, uh, seven maybe of years of experience. And now I have four years or I don't know, of repeated ex uh, experience. So I'm using my knowledge. I'm not uh, connecting or interacting a lot with another coaches. I just listen to coaches I, I like and I believe. I have my own methodology. I believe 100% of my methodology. I have the confidence. I know already that the players improve a lot. I already saw the results. I, I'm truly confident and I think this is the most important thing. Well, about the level of the players, uh, even when they say they have the competition, is never is never a competition. The competition there is not good as uh, in Europe. You have uh, the competition uh, like uh, it's okay. You can have some fun. You can you can help players play better. You have some of them they try to play harder. What happens is like most of them they are super rich, and uh, as you know, more rich they are, less they work in average and. Uh, then depends on your goal. If you just want competition, I don't think it's the best place. If you want to work for fun or if you want a more social, more kids, you need to understand how to teach kids, how to have a big groups of kids, how, how can you make the lessons more fun, how can you do more games, uh, sometimes not even games about tennis, it's just uh, you are just on tennis court but doing a lot of games with the kids, is what they like, what, what the parents like to watch, and you need to do uh, these kind of things uh, because you need to know what to do, but at the same time, you need to understand what they like and you what you need to do to get paid in in this, in certain way. At least in the beginning of your career, should be like that. Now I'm not doing exactly that, but in the beginning, uh, it's more or less like that. You need to do what other people like, and like in life, uh, there is an interesting quote that uh, what you do is. Uh, what other people like is your job, what you like is your passion, and you need to apply this. I, I don't follow now that because I'm lucky what I like and what I love is what other people love, so I'm lucky enough to have this kind of jobs that I really love. Uh, but it's another thing to consider. You really need to have the, the motivation, you need to, have, to be eager to play with the kids, you need to to know how to interact with them. Plus, you need to understand that there you have a lot of adults and a lot of adults that play good. And considering the weather, if you are working outside, again, I was lucky and one of the times I was working inside, but in Abu Dhabi was outside. And if you have a lot of adults and you work outside, let's see how many hours you can work, how many, if you have the fitness condition to play with them. Okay, there the lessons are 45 minutes, but if you can play with them uh, eight hours or 10 hours or whatever you want, I know like coaches like uh, just think about the money and uh, they want to work 10 hours or 12 hours a day and get more money and that's all you want. If it's that, you can do that and it's the best place to do. You can get a lot of money, lots of money. If you want more life, you also can have. Uh, what I recommend is having a balance, okay? You need to have the, the perfect amount of money, the amount of money you have. Don't try more because you'll not get super rich just by teaching, believe me. Uh, you get more money, you spend more money, but uh, have a work-life balance. Enjoy the life there and uh, with the, the adults, you need to be ready to have a really good adults that play good when they were younger and they just want to do some rallies with you. And it's interesting if you play good, so you can have a lot of fun there and it's really good. Another thing is when you stay in the hotels or academies, most of them they have pools and they have gyms and they have uh, really amazing conditions and you have a lot of free time during the day because it's too hot. You teach in the early mornings and then in the evenings and in the lunch time, I'm having the same here, but usually you have six hours or something for lunch if it's not an indoor court or maybe more. Uh, so you can enjoy all the conditions around. You can go to the beach, you can go to the pool. I was lucky enough to have everything in the same place so I didn't need to move. Uh, and it's amazing what you want more, right? As a tennis coach, uh, it's the best you can is the best you can have is to be in Dubai for me, in my opinion. And I can finish with this because if you are thinking about going to Dubai or not, if you just stop for the money, just money, money, uh, I would consider another country, uh, depend where are you, uh, where are you located in Europe, or in this case, if you are in Europe or in another country. Uh, but uh, if it's for the experience, if it's to have fun, if it's to contact with different cultures and for the money also, uh, for everything together, I think it's the best country to live, is the best city in this case Dubai. Uh, I like more Abu Dhabi, so, but it's the best place to be, it's the best place to work and uh, at the same time the best place to make money, uh, not just in tennis, but you can start your own business there, you can have uh, different uh, 
connection, uh, different and more connections there. So I would say yes, go to Dubai, have your experience, and uh, let me know in the comments what do you think about this video. Uh, if you already have been in, in Dubai, if you played there or if you did there, and what can I add more to this video? Also, if you like this content, maybe if you'd like to have more content, if you would like to have me having me uh, answering specific questions, just uh, say in the comments, I will try to have a look to all your comments and uh, maybe I'll do a video about uh, your questions because uh, as you know, Dubai is my passion. It's like, uh, what can I say? YouTube is my, my passion actually, tennis and putting all together tennis, uh, YouTube, editing the videos, recording all the, the YouTube as involved, uh, have involved and uh, if when I move to Dubai again, this is going to be a perfect combination. Of course, I'm going to go Bali first and a lot of places I like to travel, but uh, I'm lucky enough and I hope you can chase your dreams too. And believe me, the most important thing is to set goals and once you have the goals to reach them, it's so much easier, so much simpler.